What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove this door handle right here. It's a Gainsborough door handle privacy lock and there's two components to this here that drive people crazy. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so the two components that drive people crazy with this door handle here is number one, not having any visible screws to be able to remove the door handle, which I've shown you guys a few different methods in the past. Pretty easy, I'm gonna show you guys this one here as well. However, the part that got me the most when I first started um, being exposed to these door handles here is the actual shaft or the spindle that runs all the way through our latch here. And when I get to that, you're gonna see what I mean and I'll explain exactly what I used to do. But the first thing we need to do is remove these covers here. Now this section here is a cover and same on the other side. Okay, so on the front here, it's pretty simple. You can just twist it off. Usually, they're either going to turn um, anti-clockwise, so lefty loosey, righty tidy, or in this case here, it's got a rubber seal on the edge here, and that's what makes everything pretty tight in there. And a lot of people try and pull this off, and they really struggle. There's a seal on there, and that's what's causing it to be so tight. Now, when we have a look at the back here, you'll notice we've got our little privacy button to prevent people from coming in when you're in the bathroom. What you need to do, twist that one there to the left, once again, remove that little piece right there, and then we can do the exact same thing on this side here. A little bit difficult to do with one hand, but I'll manage. And now, if we have a look, we've actually exposed our screws. So we've got one screw here on the inside, and one screw on the outside. So in case you're wondering, the reason why I'm pulling this door lock here apart is because the door is actually water damaged and I'm about to replace the door. So that's why the lock needs to come off. So we can remove our screws. Make sure you don't lose those. Do the same thing on the other side. Pull these two apart. Now this one here is a little bit tight because when they painted it, they must have put the handle straight back on while the paint was still fresh and it's slightly sealed on. Put these on a side once again. We can undo our two screws here from our latch. And this is the part where most people, including myself, the first time I come, came across this, probably about nine years ago, something like that, absolutely drove me crazy. All right guys, so let's have a look at this latch here. Screws are removed so that we can remove our latch here. I'm gonna actually show you guys a bit of the inside view and see if you can actually figure out what's happening here before I show you guys. Okay, so we've got our little shaft or our spindle that runs all the way through. Okay, we've got a screw here on the back. I'm just trying to show you guys a few of the little key features here. See what it is that you can pick up. Okay, you can't push it through this way. Can't push it through that way. So how do you remove it? I'll give you guys a quick tip in case this isn't the actual style that you've got. Um, on some other particular styles, I'm not sure what the brand was on the last one, there was a little hole here on the end um, and there was a little torque screw or an Allen key screw, something like that inside where I had to get an Allen key and um, back off that screw. So this shaft here was actually in two pieces and I had to undo one at a time or just one side, take out that screw, then I can remove this side and remove the other side. Now in this case here, it's not actually the case. So once again, let's have a look on this side here. What can you see that is different about this latch here? So it's very, very difficult to see, but if you have a look right there, that's probably actually a better angle. You see that little black ring right here? What that is, is an O-ring. For whatever stupid reason, this particular lock here, what you do, is you slide the actual shaft or the spindle all the way through. Then you've got an O-ring that slips over the top and sits in a little groove here. So pretty much doing the exact same uh, job that a circlip would do, um, but they've got a little O-ring right there. You can see the little rubber seal, and that is actually what's stopping everything from being able to push it back out the other way. So to remove the O-ring, we need a flathead screwdriver being as careful as possible not to puncture it. If you do puncture it, it's not the end of the world. All you need to do is just simply replace the O-ring. I'm gonna try and do this without blocking the camera's view. 
which means it might take me a little bit longer. So I'm just putting the flathead screwdriver on the edge, lifting it up and stretching it just a bit until I can pull it over that shaft as we've got there. Flick the other side over the corner as well. And do the same thing down the bottom and it should simply come off. All right, so now we can see that O-ring coming off. And this here is what is causing all our problems here. If I pull out this section here now, it comes out nice and easy. And that O-ring sits right here on that groove and that's what prevents it from coming out. So there you have it guys, that's how to remove the Gainsbro privacy lock. Pretty easy to do now that you know exactly what needs to be done, but if you have never come across something like this before, I guarantee you it would have driven you crazy. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time I'm Bill, thanks for watching Bill's Yatu.